This, what I have here, is the Nerquaxi++, which is a 5 terahash Bitcoin open source ASIC miner, which is entry point uh, Bitcoin miner, which mines Bitcoin. You can mine solo with it, you can mine pool mining. And in today's video, we're going to go into the details, how to set it up, how easy it is to set it up and start mining, and what you can make with this, and what potentially is this miner for. But before we start, guys, hit that like button. Also, comment down below to get a chance to win this small miner and get delivered to you ASAP so you can start mining Bitcoin if you are not already Okay guys, look at that. That's the Nerquaxi++. It looks really tech savvy, but it's actually not. It's quite simple to use. Um, it's a built on a PCB. There's four S21 Pro chips, which basically uh, guys who manufacture this are assembling Unminer S21 Pros and placing uh, chips on this kind of PCB. Um, it does have power socket. Uh, it's two, I think 2.5, um, this one here. Then it has fan on the front. It does have small LED screen. There's two buttons. One is switch off on the screen and the second one is uh, switch between the screen so you can see the mining hash rate, what kind of chips does this have, what kind of overclock. And also you can see a live Bitcoin price. So it's a nice thing, you know, for example, to have this in the living room or in the office, you can you know, see the Bitcoin price all the time. So, and it's very pleasant to see it now because we are almost at 119,000, which is the new all time high hit today on Bitcoin. So yeah, guys, let's turn this thing on. So what you need to do, I have the power supply here connected into the uh, wall socket. Um, so just what you need to do is connect the power cable to the miner top and it will be booting it itself. Um, I have a small crack there on the screen, uh, which, you know, the screen is still usable, but it's very uh, fragile. Um, so I dropped it and I break the screen. Uh, sorry about that, guys. So uh, to connect it, you know, you can see on the screen, it also will, it's still booting, I think. So yeah, it will sell, say, say basically, yeah, it says here, connect to the Wi-Fi portal, SSID, Nerd Quaxi. So on your phone, on your phone, guys, um, you connect to this minor Wi-Fi and you insert the pool details. Basically for this minor, you connect this minor to your home network. Uh, let's turn on the screen recorder, three, two, one, and let's go. Okay, so I go to my Wi-Fi settings. I'm connected now to my home Wi-Fi. It's the five gigahertz uh, version I have connected to my phone, but actually this device won't work on five gigahertz. I've tried this, it will only work on 2.4. I have 2.4 here as well. So what you need to do, just connect to Nerquaxi D181 in my situation, and the pop-up screen will, sh will pop up where to insert the uh, your Wi-Fi details, so you go to here, settings, and then I have already tried my details here, just deleted the last number, last letter. So you connect your, your Wi-Fi SSID is your Wi-Fi name, and then the Wi-Fi password you have on your router. Um, next, you click save, and you restart the miner. So this should connect uh, to your home Wi-Fi, and the Wi-Fi and the IP address should appear on the small screen on the little device. But if this doesn't happen, please check your if the Wi-Fi name is correct, if the password is correct, and most important, if it's connected to 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, as five gigahertz Wi-Fi won't work on this device. Okay, so this device is booting. Yeah, it's booting. It's already starting to show uh, hash rate. You can see the IP address on the top. It's 192.168.1.42. Um, then you can switch between the screens. This I said, this is switching off the screen as I said before. And this is switching between, be, between the next screen and the current. So it shows the hash rate. Um, it shows the difficulty, it shows the pool where you connected. It also shows the Bitcoin Live 
price, which is really amazing. 118295. So, okay, I'll show you now in the phone app as well. In the phone app, how to connect this uh, device to the mining pool. Okay, three, two, one. Uh, okay, you open the web browser. So you insert the IP address which shown on the miner. In my case, it's 192.168.1.1. Let me see, point 1.42, okay, it is. Then next thing is you go to, also, I'm not on the same Wi-Fi, so I can need to connect the same Wi-Fi to actually operate the device. You can't operate the device from outside network. You'll have to be on the same network. Okay, so I'm, not, I'm here now, I go to the settings. And I'm using currently via BTC pool. You can use whatever, you know, pool you want or you want to mine solo. It's very simple. It's the same way you set up mostly any ASIC miner. You paste in the pool address. So this one, it says even description, do not include stratum plus TCP. Um, and then you insert the port address and then the stratum user. So whatever, for example, on via BTC, I'm registered with this username, I'm using the same username. Then you just save device and restart and this device should start mining. You should see the uh, hash rate on the screen. So what else you can do on this? You can apply overclocks. So mining settings, there's few overclock settings, what you can uh, set, so default is 600. Let me check, why did it go back? Okay, core voltage, yeah, okay. 600 is default, frequency, 600 megahertz. So core voltage, you can increase or decrease that. You know, you, can, you, you should look at um, your, you know, temperature of the miner. So it shouldn't be more than 80 Celsius, otherwise the miner will switch off. Actually, 70 Celsius will shut down. So it depends on your ambient temperature. You can overclock the miner more or reduce the hash rate. You know, the, the more it's overclocked, the more power it will use, the more heat it will generate. So this miner performs at five terahash. You know, th this is crazy. Like, guys, I remember like back in 2017, Unminer S9, it was brick like this, you know. At nine terahash or 10 terahash, it was using 1,600 watts. Now this small device now does half of the performance only at 60 watts. So you can imagine how Bitcoin mining is involved in uh, this time. So um, what else you can do here? Uh, that's, that's more or less it, what you need to know. Um, of course, you can update the firmware from here. Uh, you can update from website, uh, you can reflash device if there's some issues. Um, that's more it, you know, dashboard, you can see that the hash rate expected is 4.8 gigahash. This hash rate will build up, you know, in 30 minutes, you'll see the full performance. Also monitor the uh, heat, the temperatures, you know, check what temperatures is your miner, that way you can overclock or reduce the, the miner or place the miner where it's better airflow if it's overheating. Um, common issue on this is overheating. If you use in somewhere in ambient temperature 30 Celsius, your device might be overheating. And let's check out the via BTC pool if this miner is connected to the pool and if it's mining. So you can see I have two devices connected here. Um, let's check the pool. Uh, the mining pool is a little bit slow today. So you can see that I do have workers, workers here on top. Uh, the pool is lagging a little bit today. Workers. Okay, I have two active. Okay, I have two active devices. 
This is the Nerd Waxy Mind Shop PEU. You can see that it's thir booted 13 minutes ago. Okay guys, thank you for tuning in for this video. I hope you did enjoy the setup and the review of this small little Bitcoin mini miner device, which is the Nerquoxy Plus uh, Plus, which is the entry points Bitcoin miner. Um, the only way to make a lot of money with this is of course hitting Bitcoin block and gambling and mining solo. Otherwise you just can get the taste how it will be mining, you'll get few cents, 50 cents maybe a day with this small miner. Otherwise guys, you know the story. Subscribe the channel if you haven't done so yet and mine hardcore or don't mine at all. Goodbye, goodbye.